Hello there. Today we're going to be learning how to find interior angles of a quadrilateral. So what is an interior angle and what in the world is a quadrilateral? Let's find out. These shapes are all called quadrilaterals. I'm sure you're familiar with the blue square, the green rectangle, the purple rhombus, and the pink parallelogram. What makes them a quadrilateral is the fact that they have four sides, regardless of what their shape is. Since we know that now, well, where are the interior angles? Let's say I were to draw two black lines on two sides of the square. The angle created between those two sides is the interior angle, and it's commonly found at the vertex. The other three shapes also have interior angles at the same location. In fact, all quadrilaterals have four interior angles located at the vertex. See? This shape here is also a quadrilateral. It has four sides and four interior angles. But if I wanted to know how to calculate interior angles of a quadrilateral, well, I'd have to remember that interior angles in a quadrilateral always add up to 360 degrees. So what does that mean? Well, let's say I were to replace each of the angles with a different shape. The yellow star, the red star, the blue star, and the purple star. If I added all four of them together, I should get 360 degrees. Since I know that the yellow star and the red star are 90 degree angles, I'll just substitute them in there. Make sense so far? Okay, let's try another example. Here we have a quadrilateral that has an unknown angle x. This is what we want to find. We don't know what it is. What we do know is that we have three other angles. We're given two 90 degree angles and another angle which equals 135 degrees. Remember, all four interior angles together should equal 360 degrees. Since I'm trying to find out now what exactly x is, I have to remember my algebra rules because whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. In which case, I'm going to have to try and move the two 90 degree angles and the 135 degree angle to the other side. So I need to subtract 90 degrees, subtract 90 degrees, and subtract 135 degrees from the left side and do the same thing on the right. That way, each side is equal, and I can find out what x is specifically. So, if I do the calculation correctly, what I'm left with is 360 degrees minus 90 minus 90 minus 135 degrees. This should give me 45 degrees. That, in turn, is the unknown angle. Do you get it now? See? 45 degrees. Congratulations! You just learned how to find interior angles of a quadrilateral. Awesome!